Hello all, I am Dr. Gayatri, an educational therapist. I am the founder of Flourishing Kids and I work with kids having learning challenges. Today, we are going to talk about auditory attention. Let's see some activities to make it as a fun time. So, what exactly is this auditory attention? Especially when it comes to attention, we always tend to see on the visual side. You have to match this or you have to do this activity. So let's see how we can build this into the routine for our kids. This is very very useful especially for the reading. Next the kids would be doing reading. So always reading begins with ears and it's useful for them to be always be awakened by all the stimulus outside them. So let's see how we can make it into a fun activity. The first one. This is a classic one, the Simon Says. Yes, we all play this game and we all love it. But we don't know this is an auditory activity. Yes, it is for auditory attention activity. It's a simple game. Just say Simon Says and the kid has to follow whatever action word we say later on. Simon Says Jump. The kid has to jump. Simon Says Laugh. The kid has to laugh. So it is like completely they have to listen to our words and then they have to do something. So it is fun and it is like you could make it like a group activity or just the family members together or just uh, a parent and a kid and you could play with this game. The second one is I spy game. I spy with my little eye. Yeah, you have to say the next thing. So the kid has to find out what we are saying. So whenever we start saying the word I spy with my little eye, yes, the kid has to start listening to us. So next we'll see. For small kids, we can say like I spy with my little eye, blue color, red color, like those colors. For little bigger kids, we can say I spy with my little eye, A, I spy with my little eye, B or any other alphabets. This can be also played at home or whenever we are going outside in a car or in a train or when we are just walking outside in a park. We could do this anywhere. It is so easy and fun. To make it little more complicated, we could also do this a small variation of I spy game. You can say, I spy with my little eye something rhyming with moon. And the kid has to know it is spoon, right? Moon, spoon, they both rhyme. So it is like we are actually taking the activity to the next level. It is always fun also. Next one, the next game is animal sounds. Animal sounds, just you can actually record some animal sounds and keep it or you could Google it or just uh, do with the Alexa or anything. We could just try it out. We have to just say the animal and there will be a sound. Or sometimes the sound comes first and then the kid has to identify what animal is this. So completely they are paying their attention only to the sounds. You could also do this whenever we go outside also if you hear any sound. We can just say like what is the animal that is sounding? What is the sound you are hearing now? What is the sound you are listening to? So it's so much easy and uh, we could do it in any time. We could do it uh, with just two to three minutes in our hand. The next one is green light, red light. Yeah. So if the kid is playing around or doing something or we itself just give them an activity. And if we say green light, they can do it. If we say red light, they have to stop. Yeah, they can do some walking, running, jumping, anything. And whenever we say like uh, green light or red light, they have to listen to the instruction and then follow what they should do. So uh, this also can be done at uh, home with the, uh, within the family members or just some kids uh, playing along and we could use this activity. So the last one, the last one is like finding the item. Just keep a big basket or big box or something which is attractive to the kids in the center of the room. Then ask them like you have to find five objects that is starting with S. If uh, the kid knows the alphabet or the sounds S, then they have to find it out and then they have to put it in the box. Or else for small kids you can say like you have to find five toys and you have to put it inside. Or five cars or anything 
anything but they have to just quickly do it and uh, we can also do it like a timed activity also we'll just give only one minute and the kid has to run around and get and put the objects inside the basket so these are all like fun activities and very simple and we need not do many preparation for these activities try incorporating them into our daily routine so it is always fun have fun playing with kids thank you